And I guess I should have expected it. The mom, she's gonna be giving her advice to her daughter parenting. Three things that I just absolutely loved. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we're talking all about rejection, how to get over it, how to be who you are, all of the stuff, okay? So today we're talking about the book, Perfect is Boring. This book is written by Tyra Banks and her mother, Carolyn. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is biography, success, self-improvement, all right? So I was not expecting to enjoy this book as much as I did, okay? There's a lot about parenting in here. And I guess I should have expected it. The mom, she's gonna be giving her advice to her daughter parenting. Three things that I just absolutely loved. First one being, you are not rejected. The thing is rejected, okay? There's a chapter in the book where they talk about Tyra Banks as she's getting older, right? She starts out being this model, super, super teeny thin, really, really tall, and then all of a sudden, 18, 19, she gets curves, she gets breasts, she gets all the stuff. And all of a sudden, she's not getting called for shows. She's not getting picked up. And Carolyn, her mom, made her call and ask every casting director or every booker what was wrong, why weren't they casting her? And it turns out, they were like, well, you got too much booty, well, you're getting fat, well, you need to lose a little weight, you need to do this and that. So what Carolyn decides is, okay, so this is what you look like. Who is looking for the body that you have? And that is actually how she got connected with Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret wants breasts. Victoria's Secret's looking for booty. Oh, we're gonna take the current assets that you have and go over there. Tyra Banks was not rejected. They were rejecting her look for the runway, right? So I know that sounds like it was still rejecting her. It wasn't. You weren't fit for this show, but you could still be a model, right? And that was a, a great lesson. The other one was the period party. Menstrual cycles are controversial in the United States, as in people don't talk about them very often. I don't know why. Carolyn told me, talk about it. Celebrate it. You are now technically a woman, as in your body would be able to produce an egg to have a child if you wanted to. Your body is now experiencing different things it didn't experience before. She threw a party for her daughter. She passed out pads and tampons. She had her friends come over. They were talking about them. She wanted to embrace all the things that Tyra didn't know about and turn it on its head and make it be a fun thing. And that was amazing to me. The last thing that I absolutely love about the book is embracing who you are. Now, I grew up watching Tyra Banks. First, she was on the Will Smith show. Then she had America's Next Top Model, which I was obsessed with. I never wanted to be a model, but I was just fascinated. I was fascinated by how most models weren't your typically beautiful, double take on the street people. Tyra Banks has changed. She has matured. She has a son. Her relationship is different. Her mom is now a grandmother. Their lives have changed. Their lives have evolved. And so in the book, she talks about embrace your gray hair. Embrace the fact that your body looks different. Embrace the fact that her career looks different. Her relationship with her mom looks different. So you need to embrace who you are now. And yes, you could have cosmetic surgery. Yes, I color my hair. Yes, you can put on some makeup. You can do things to make yourself feel good about yourself. But do not run and hide from who you are because you will still be you under the makeup, under the plastic surgery. And so you have to be who you are. Yes, you can do some, some things, but also make sure that you are comfortable with who you are because perfect is boring and we don't wanna be boring. I have to tell you guys, I will reread this book. The parenting advice is phenomenal. It's so good. In fact, I'm sure as I keep rereading it, even the Tyra Banks parts will be even more relevant to me, but I will definitely reread this book, okay? So it was, it was a really great one, all right? And if you are still fighting with the fact that you think perfect is fun and why can't you be perfect, check out this video here where I talk all about how to have radical confidence. Yes, you. Radical confidence. <laughs> See you in the next one.